Last time on Dual Destinies. It's Athena. In case you missed anything, I'll fill you in on this case. Filch was in the Tamataro costume, but it's still obvious that Lobel is suspicious. So we finally convinced the judge to bring him onto the stand. And that's it. That's literally it. The witness changed. Nothing happened. Paolo did dumbass things. I yelled at him. Lobel deafened in our ears. And that's it. You missed nothing. My beautiful fucking eyes! <laughs> Not Why such a fabulous scent that? now, is it? Oh, God! But, Mr. Justice, the witness also stated that he heard the mayor confess. If he was lying about hearing the confession from the hall, then where was he when he heard it? Inside the fox chamber. Where else? Huh. But isn't that within the very crime scene? It is, Your Honor, and that means he's not really a witness. Rather, he's the third party I've been alleging this whole time! What?! You think I'm the killer?! How dare you?! Silence! Foolish fop. A true man knows when he's beaten. A shield of lies comes not before a foe with the sword of truth bared. The prosecutor Blackwill! What are you?! I thought we were on the same side! You are mistaken. There are no sides here save for my cold, steely edge of judgment. You are alone upon this battlefield with naught but your lies and sickly sweet perfume. Whoa, what just happened? Blackwell's really tearing into him. You heard the mayor's confession from the inside, did you not, you deviant dandy? For the sole location from which you could have seen and heard the mayor and the Tanuki, without either of them noticing you, was right there in the fox chamber. Oh my. So that's how it's going to be. Fine, I'll come clean then. Seriously? You admit to being there in the fox chamber? I do! I did enter the room after the murder! But I was afraid of being falsely accused, so I lied about it! I feel terrible about lying like that, but it's a verbal cologne I use to protect myself. You'd better explain yourself, Mr. LaBelle. Yes, of course. I was just about to get to that. The witness is skating on thin ice. I'll remind you that perjury is a very serious crime. Now, let's hear your testimony again. This time without your perfume of lies. Perfume! Oh, I'm sorry. Force of habit. I did enter the fox chamber after the murder, but I didn't enter until after Jinxie had heard the confession and left. I heard the mayor groan, and hid behind the folding screen there. What I saw there up close, it was absolutely horrifying! So you see, I was there, but merely watching from behind the screen. From behind the screen? Why yes, I believe you wouldn't be spotted if you were there. Just so, he could see everything without being spotted by the victim or the Tanuki Filch. Suffice to say, he was mere witness to the events rather than an actual third party. This guy's as slippery as an eel. Apollo, you think he's telling the truth? Well, he was in the fox chamber, so at least that much must be true. The defense may cross-examine our slightly voyeuristic witness. Oh, I see what you did there. Flower stroking! How I do enjoy stroking this flower! And it's flower stroking time! Da 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 da! I'm singing, we are trying to find a comfort- Hold it! Could you describe the crime scene in a bit more detail? Hmm? And what exactly would you like the details about? Well, what I'd like to ask you about is... 
Ask him what his favorite kind of pizza is. No. Ask him for his credit card number. No. Ask him where he gets his trashy suits from. No. Ask him about the state of the weapons in the fox chamber. No! Wait, yes. Could you describe the state of the weapons that had been used at the scene? The spear had been thrust all the way through Alderman QB. <laughs> then there was the statue the Alderman used to bludgeon Maya Tenma. That incredibly inspiring symbol had fallen on the floor. Oh, right, the statue. But why would he find it inspiring? Why exactly did you find the statue inspiring? <laughs> Well, when I saw that statue, it felt as if the merger had been realized. It was like a celebration of union between town and village, an inspiring symbol of goodwill. A broken statue next to a bloody corpse. Real inspiring. Well, Mr. Justice, do you consider his statement to be of any importance? Is it important? It's probably not particularly important. No, Your Honor. The witness may proceed. Apollo Justice is the worst attorney in the world because he fails! Da 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 da! You fail, and there's nothing. Wait, shit! Yeah, Hold I'm it! Wondering how long it took you to notice? I fucked up. I fucked up. Athena, I fucked up. I know you did. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Just you more than others. Okay, okay, be calm, be calm. I can fix this. Watch. I believe that to be extremely importantly. Uh, uh, Im important. I request that it be added to the testimony. Your grammar sucks. A statue had fallen on the floor. It was a token of goodwill celebrating the municipal merger. Objection! Your lies have finally betrayed you, Mr. LaBelle. What possibly could you mean? You said this statue was like a celebration of union between town and village. Isn't that correct? It is indeed, but what of it? The two yokai are joining hands in goodwill, as if they were celebrating the municipal merger. Something the matter? Are you hitting on me? Staring at my So duty? how did you really know that this statue was meant to be a symbol of goodwill again? What? Justice Dono, explain yourself and make it quick. This statue was meant to symbolize goodwill in its original form. But that was a secret. A secret? Whatever do you mean? What I mean is that it broke when someone used it to strike Mayor Tenma on the head. What's left clearly makes it look like the two yokai are battling it out. Eep! The statue's secret and its true form were lost inside that locked room. For Miss Tenma is the only living soul who should know what it once looked like. So, Mr. LaBelle, where could you have possibly seen the statue in its original form? Uh, what do you... The only possible answer is this. You saw the statue in its original form. Right there, in the room where the alderman was murdered before it was broken. How dare you! Mr. Justice, are you accusing the witness with some sort of crime? Or dirt for dirt? No fucking shit, Your Honor. Florent LaBelle, I accuse you of the murder of Alderman Rex Cuby. Oh my fuck! Why do I keep doing that to myself? I'm a fucker! Oh my eyes! Order, order! Mr. LaBelle, you've been accused of murder. Do you have anything to say in your defense? <laughs> How could you possibly accuse me? The embodiment of beauty! Way to go, Apollo! This is the evidence we needed! Magnifico! We've got you now! We know you killed the Alderman! Now admit it! 
Ai, 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 ai! Enough of your silly games, Justice Dono. The Brancing Peacock could not possibly be the killer. Objection! What the fuck is your damage? His alibi has already crumbled to dust! And I just proved that he was in the Fox Chamber while it was still locked tight! Silence! Why could he have not seen the statue in its true form before the murder? After all, he was close friends with the Orgman. Ergo... Yes, that's right! I clearly remember it now! Alderman QB told me about it! About what the statue actually looked like! I mean, he was a good friend of mine! <laughs> Objection! Yeah, right. He wouldn't show you a secret gift just like that. Silence! Moreover, it has already been proven that he was not present at the scene of the crime. It has. Forgotten, have we? Recall the little scamp statement, if you will. When Jinxie Tenma unlocked the Fox Chamber, she saw the Alderman and the Mayor collapse therein, and no one else. Oh. Ah, shit. The fact is, it was you two who made that apparent in yesterday's court session. Thus, Florent LaBelle could not have possibly been locked in that room. Uh... No! Ah, damn it, Black Hole! Stop being good at your job! Fight for LaBelle! Go I Belle. just don't get it. LaBelle. How could Jinxie not have seen LaBelle? The proof is incontrovertible. No room for debate exists. Am I not right, your boldness? Hmm, it does seem awfully conclusive. The facts point to the defendant and victim being the only people in that locked room. Moreover, the defendant has already confessed. Objection! Silence! Hey! You cannot defend the indefensible! Your role in this charade is over, Justice Dono. But, but, but... Your boldness. This trial would last an eternity if we were to keep crossing blades with these simpletons. It is high time that you brought down the hammer of justice. A point well made. I believe it's time to declare a verdict. This court finds the defendant, Damien Tenma. Prove it! It would seem that my time is at hand. Mayor Tenma? Counselor, there's a matter to which I must testify. I recall it now only for your good graces. C Counselor? Oh, right. He must mean me. Has he finally remembered what happened before that blow to his head? Bailiff, don't just stand there, seize him! He's no good, Senor Blackwill! I can't restrain him! Know me and despair! For I am Tin Mataro, Demon Lord of the Yokai! Mr. Justice, do something! Since when am I responsible for court security? Apollo, this is our chance. We might get some new information out of him. Your Honor, seeing as our client has something new to say... I believe due process demands that we hear him out, even if he is a yokai. Hmm, when you put it that way... Still, I believe testimony by a yokai is unprecedented in the legal world. Hmm. <laughs> Unprecedented in absurdity, more like. All right then, Mr. Damien Tenma. Or should I say, Mr. Tenma Taro? Your testimony, please. I shall not speak of recollections most real, courtesy of my host, Damien Tenma. Hear these words, mortals, or hear them but once you shall! <laughs> <laughs>
Conscious was Damien there amid the darkness. Suddenly, two yokai did appear. On one side, I, Tin Mataro, ruler of Demon Kai, and on the other, my mortal enemy, the Night Tail Fox. Um. So, is the defendant asserting that the room he was in was very dark at the time? Hmm. Strange as it may be. Yes, indeed. All was in darkness. And the part about Tenmataro and the Nine-Tailed Fox being there? Yes, that too. Tenmataro towered overhead, and the Nine-Tailed Fox glittered with gold. Ah! I call animal abuse, Your Honor. Hmm. It would seem the defendant's recollections are not to be trusted. Yes, well, truth be told, my host's recollections are still a bit fuzzy. As if half dreamt, that happening lingers in his mind. Apollo, maybe I can help here. Really? Oh, you mean... Yeah, I can hear it. The discord in his heart. I sense an unusual emotion in the mayor's memory of the event. Okay, I just hope our findings don't come back to haunt us... again. Initiating audiovisual reconstruction. Barely conscious with Damien there amid the darkness. Suddenly, two yokai did appear. On one side, I, Tin Mataro, ruler of Tin And on the other, my mortal enemy, the Nine Tailed Fox. Got it! When the Nine Tailed Fox appeared, you not only experienced shock and sadness, but also something like joy as well. Joy? Hmm. Perhaps it was joy at the light coming to my eyes at long last. A long and terrible creaking did pierce the silence. And then there was light! On recollection, it was a door that did produce that infernal racket. A creaking door? Oh, you must be talking about the forbidden chamber door. It does make a lot of noise. So this means the Forbidden Chamber really was opened. But what about the sudden light he described? I think I know. He mentioned darkness and Tenmataro towering overhead. Maybe the mayor wasn't really in the Fox Chamber at the time of the crime. Mr. Mayor, did the darkness that you were in happen to be here? Mayor Tenma, the darkness you were in was right here. Hmm, you claim I was there. No such recollection do I possess. That's just because your memory is still hazy. Hmm, a further reflection, I believe that. You are gravely misguided! Huh? He means you got that one wrong, Apollo. Counselor! I expect attempts of a more serious nature from you. Alright, let's think that one over again. Take that! The Forbidden Chamber? Was it not the Fox Chamber where the murder did occur? Yes, but it all makes sense if you were in the Forbidden Chamber. That terrible creaking sound was probably the Forbidden Chamber's door opening. And the towering Tenmataro you saw, most likely the Forbidden Chamber statue. Why, yes, that that would explain it. The darkness and the staff in the demon's grasp. But even if all that's true, then what about the nine-tailed fox? 
Um, maybe he was seeing things, just like Jinxie in her imaginary yokai. Fantastico, Apollo! It's entirely possible! In a groggy, dreamlike state, people can misremember things and events. Misremember, you say? Hmm... Let me think. Ah! I do believe I remember now. That... That was not the Nine-Tailed Fox. It was... The Amazing Nine-Tails! What? The Amazing Nine-Tails? At first, this is but a dream, I thought. Now, however, most clearly do I recall it. Twas the Amazing Nine-Tails who did open the Forbidden Chamber door. Noise level reduced. I'm sorry I asked. The Amazing Nine-Tails? But that was the victim, Alderman Kubi. Right? Yeah, why would he open the Forbidden Chamber? Wasn't he trying to keep it sealed? Never mind that! This is completely new information! Let me enter it and run an update. Barely conscious was Damien there in the Forbidden Chamber. New file update! Amid the darkness, a mighty statue of Timotaro loomed overhead. Got it! The unexpected emotion is right here. Really? You sure about that? Yeah, can't you see it? Uh, maybe if you look really hard? Just keep staring and maybe... Apollo, this isn't a game of where's Emo. You know where Emo is? He's on the other side of the courtroom. At least make an effort next time. Okay, okay, let me try that again. Amid the darkness, suddenly, the door did open, and a shaft of light did well update. The Amazing Ninetales had come to the rescue. What do you suppose the Amazing Ninetales was up to? Good question. Could he have been trying to free the mayor from the Forbidden Chamber? But why help an enemy like that? Wasn't he opposed to the mayor's merger plan? Hmm... Well, at least now we know why the room suddenly lit up. Must have been a huge relief for the mayor. I mean, just thinking about being trapped in that pitch black room freaks me out. Barely conscious of being in there amid the darkness, a mighty statue of Timotaro moved overhead. Suddenly, the door did open, and a shaft of light did pierce the gloom. <laughs> Amazing Ninetales had come to the rescue! Got it! When the Amazing Ninetales opened the chamber, banishing the darkness within... You felt joy, but didn't you also feel shock and sadness? Hmm... Yes! In the hazy depths of my mind, I do recollect something of that nature. I believe it was the Fiend's Cape of Red. But when I did behold it, a great wave of sadness did inexplicably wash over me. Noise level reduced. A cape of red. Apollo, we've reduced the noise level. Oh, but there's still a little left. Mayor Tenma, why were you sad when you saw the red cape? Hmm. Why, indeed? What could this mean? I guess his memory is still a little spotty. I know because his latest recollection contradicts the evidence. Yeah, it's one of those contradictions that slaps you right across the face. Hmm, something this obvious could arise? When someone is trying to force a fuzzy memory into a definitive shape, Apollo, I know what you have to do. You need to present evidence that contradicts the image you see. Oh, so it's basically the same as the usual cross-examination process. Okay, time to review the evidence. Look out, contradiction. Here comes justice. Barely conscious was Damien there in the forbidden chamber. Amid the darkness, about suddenly, the door did open. 
The amazing Ninetales had come to the rescue. Objection! You said the amazing Ninetales' cape was red. Are you sure about that? Yes, well, I do believe it was a red cape I saw, but... Mayor Tenma! Does this cape look red to you? No, oh, that certainly does not look red. Not even scarred or crimson either. Nevertheless, upon my liberation, something red did fill my, as of yet, hazy field of view. And I thought to myself, Ah, the amazing Ninetales is arrayed in a cape of red! So you mistook that red something for his cape, huh? Apparently so, and remembering it now brings a great sadness upon me. So the red something probably wasn't a cape after all. Maybe that great sadness he mentioned is what's interfering with his memory. Well, he would have seen the fox chamber behind the amazing Ninetales. What red object could he have seen there that would have been that shocking? Hmm. I know! Could it have been... Mr. Mayor, was the red thing you saw this? Why do I even have to present something here? What's stopping me from just saying it's the stupid blood? Jeez, what kind of a sham court is this? Take that! Something red that could produce a deep sadness. Could it be, Mr. Tenma, that what you saw was the Alderman's blood? Blood? Why, yes, it was blood! It's all coming back to me now. It wasn't a red cape that I saw. It was lying behind the Amazing Ninetales, the Alderman's bloody body. Ah! Info update. Noise level reduced. Analysis complete. You're a dumbass, Apollo. His noise level is down to zero. I think he's remembered everything now. Does this mean the Amazing Ninetales killed Alderman QB? But the Alderman was the Amazing Ninetales, so how exactly would that work? Hey, I asked you first. Well, Mr. Justice, you sure know how to make a complicated matter even more complicated. True, but at the time of the crime, our client was in the Forbidden Chamber. Moreover... Silence! Oi, don't you think this strange? The little scamp has already confirmed her father to be in the fox chamber, but she said not about seeing the amazing nine tails huh. there. You just had to bring that up, didn't you? Jinxie didn't see LaBelle there either. It's so weird. Who really was in that room then? Let's start project. You're a dumbass, Apollo!